expectations they keep weighing me down hey guys what up it's your girl leanne alicia and today i will be showing you how i got this mermaid look you will need a fishnet so let me just get started right into it you will need a fishnet that's how I got these little squares because nobody was taking their time doing little squares on their face. Alright, so let's get started into our video. Alright, so first things first, um, I already did my brows and concealed them and everything. Um, I'm going to be using my Born This Way concealer to basically prime my eyelids. This concealer is kind of like orangey. So I didn't like want to put too much, but then I realized later on that I did need a little bit more. So I'm priming my lids right now. I'm just blending it out, making sure that my eye my eyelids are properly primed. And this is what I do for every 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 eyeshadow look this is where I realized that I needed more <laughs> so I'm just priming my eyelids all right so now I'm gonna take a beauty blender a damp beauty blender and kind of like blend that a little bit more to like make it a little softer because it's still kind of wet So next, I'm going to take my black opal finishing powder, set my concealer with this. Okay, so now that I already primed and prepped my eyelids, it was kind of giving me a hard time to close the, the finishing powder. I'm going to take my Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to be using most of the colors from that palette to be doing the eyeshadow. It was kind of hard to open right there. <laughs> but I finally got it open. So I'm actually going to start out with the transition shade, which is going to be the hot pink that's in the palette. And I'm going to basically swoop that across my eyelid. So as you can see, I'm taking the color and I'm doing side to side motions because I want the color to be all over the lid instead of like halfway on the lid. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth. Alright, so next I'm going to take this product everywhere. So next I'm going to take the color that's under that. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a deeper pink or like a mauve. And I'm going to put that where we put the pink, but I won't take it up so much. I'm gonna go in with a deep purple because that's like gonna be the crease um, I'm gonna use this purple right here remember that purple will go in the crease not above it not below it that one goes directly in the crease to make it easier to And then after, I would take the brush that has the pink eyeshadow on it and the mauve and blend that together so that it doesn't look too harsh on my lid. All right, I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm going to go in with a navy blue and with the same purple. So I'm just going to – and I'm going to go into that crease again with those colors. On my I think it's time for you to realize I want you. All right, 
right, so now that I look like I have a black eye, um, I'm going to try to cut the crease. The last look I did, I didn't cut the crease, but this is like an improved makeup look, mermaid makeup look. Yeah. So I'm going to do that this time. I'm going to go in with my NARS Pot Concealer. It's in the color Amand, which is super light for me. And I'm going to cut the crease with that. I'm going to use like a flat, I guess like powder brush. That's what they call these. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to use these. So here's a closer look at me cutting my crease. So basically, I put the product, the concealer, at the bottom of my lid. I looked up. And then I look back down to see where my crease actually stays. You usually do this if you have hooded eyelids like me. Because with my eyes, the hood actually hides where the actual crease is. Just blending that purple and navy blue together with the concealer so that it doesn't look like a harsh separation in between the transition. I'm also going to use my finger because the brush wasn't doing a good job. So now that I have that blended, I'm going to go in with a different paddle brush and I'm going to put this light pink in there, right there. I'm going to put that in there. It's like a shimmer. Be the one to break me out of this. I want you all to myself. that's done I'm gonna take this NYX eyeliner and outline the crease at this part you really want to take your time on outlining the crease because with this eyeliner once you mess up that is it like you cannot wipe it off it will get everywhere so you have to have to have to take your time while doing this will you promise me will you promise me So now, I'm going to take my white eyeliner and line my eyes. This is going to be a pain. Because <laughs> the NYX white eyeliner always crack. Always, always, always crack. Alright, let's do this. So give me something to I'm just gonna clean it up around the corners and everything with some concealer and then finish the rest of my face so here I am just sharpening up that white liner and my eyeshadow with some concealer so that it gives it a sharp look and a sharp finish <laughs> Alright, so the foundation I choose to use today is my Kat Von D foundation. It is in the color Deep 81 Cool. So 
so let me just clean up my face. Gonna leave the concealer there. First things first, I'm gonna use my primer. I usually don't use this primer, but I'm trying it out right now. So let's see if this works great. My primer is the Pore Professional. Ugh, you can't even see because the light's so bright. But it's the Pore Professional Primer. As you can see, I'm putting on my primer and you have to make sure that that dries. You always want to make sure your primer dries before you add on your foundation. And now I am using my foundation on my face. It's kind of running out, so I decided to dab it on with my finger. And then after, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Brush to buffer out my foundation. Then after, I'm going to take a beauty blender and just smoothen out the areas of where the brush did not really, I guess, like do the job. I don't know. I just like how the beauty blender finishes. It makes everything stick and look matte to me. After I put on my foundation with my beauty blender, I'm actually going to use the same Born This Way concealer and just dot the concealer in the highlighted places. This concealer is very orangey and very, I would say, like pigmented. So you don't want to use a lot on your face. So now I'm going to take more of my black opal finish powder and I'm basically going to bake. What does perfect even mean? I'm going to carve my contour line. Is there even such a thing? So after I blend out everything that I baked and the contour line, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo pe Pencil in the color Milk and add that to my waterline. Alright, so I'm going to take my Juvia's Masquerade palette. You can't even see it because the light is so bright this and take this green oh <laughs> this green with this kind of brush I'm gonna put that at the bottom I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend honey I'm a perfect ten So we're going to go back in our Morphe palette and we're going to take that purple color right there. So as you see, I went back into my Morphe palette and I took like a shimmery purple and I'm adding that to the outer corner of my brow bone, I should say. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head and my stuff. And we're going to take a paddle brush. Take the same green that we use for the bottom of our eyes and make that our highlights.
for the madness, get your fishnets ready and try to find a comfortable position to put the fishnet on your face. So I tried many different ways and I figured like it wouldn't work because one, I knew my eyebrows would rip off and two, I had holes in my shit. So yeah, just try to find like a good way so that the holes are big enough on your face. So now I'm going to go back into my Juvia's palette and I'm going to take that purple and put that as the first shade to this mermaid look. So I'm going to make that as the contour, quote unquote, contour of my face. So I'm attacking my forehead, my contour line, and my jaw. Next, I'm going to go into the blue shade, which is like a deep blue, but it's not the deepest blue. And I'm going to put that on the purple and bring it down a little bit more so that it kind of blends in nicely. And you can see how I'm doing it. I'm kind of patting it on my face, not dragging it, so I don't move the fishnet. Next, I'm going to go in with the teal shade and the green shade and just pat that onto the deep blue that I put onto my face and bring that up to like my cheekbone and blend that in so that it can kind of create a highlight on my face. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing to the next side and repeat the same steps that I did on the first side. To have a certain face, I stood and wait before us. We are in pixels on a screen. No, we're human, we breathe. Every single thing we see curated. It's overrated, these expectations, they keep weighing me down. To be honest, I don't even know why I took off the fishnet, but this is where I'm going to be trying to find out how to wear it again to do the highlight on my nose. So as we proceed to give you what you need, I'm actually just highlighting everything in the highlighted areas, my forehead, my nose and my chin. Then I'm going to contour my nose with like the shimmery purple that I used on my forehead. I'm going to put more green in the little squares on my nose and kind of fake a highlight on my cheekbone and my eyes. Okay, so I put on my lashes, basically finished the face. Now I have to do the neck and the shoulders. So using the same Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to go in the same color scheme, the purple, oh, that's disgusting, but the purple, blue, and then the light blue. So I got to find a way to like put this on my neck again. So I already put on my lashes. I had to kind of refill my brows because they got messed up and whiten up the white eyeliner. And now I'm just doing the neck. Yeah. Yo, how does the, the movie tickets work? I have to print them out. Mm. Yo, this is amazing, by the way. Give me yeah. the camera. Yeah. Give me camera. Thanks. <laughs> nah, this shit fire. Thank you. Anyways, I'm out. Because I want to see The Purge. When is it? It came out already. I just want to see it. Oh, okay. The new one. The new one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shit. I heard, right, the I'll print some tickets tomorrow. Like, I, heard, I heard the black dude was looking like Captain America. Or something. Are you um off tomorrow? Yeah, I'm off for the next three days. All right, so if anything, I'll print out the ticket tomorrow. We can go see it. Or not. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't want to say it, babe. Crop that shit up. Yeah, guys, that was my brother. Uh, most people know that's my brother.
does perfect even me Is there even such a thing? So yeah guys this is the ending of the video this is the finished look like subscribe comment dislike if you from brooklyn let me get a year in the comments you feel me and yeah just um look out for my next video thank you guys for watching we are in pixels on a screen oh.